Right then, welcome back. No mucking about with this one. Weekly Challenge 38. Interlagos on a 2019 Degatti Panigale V4R. And, praise ye gods, we have a bike with fully adjustable suspension. Yes, boys and girls, table chairs and drawers. We can muck about with everything. So, biggest concern, tyres. We're going to fry the tyres because they stock tyres and they don't take much heat. So we banged a quick setup in it. We didn't muck about with a gear ratios left them standard didn't muck about with calibrations we had a few laps and we got down to a 134.8 but look at the tires front tire melted absolutely way too hot watch the heat move from front to back through this corner yeah all the heat suddenly moves to the back of the bike so we've not got a great balance what i need to do is keep the heat in the back of the bike in the back tire so we got down to a 133.7 but mm, there was definitely more time the tyres are, are losing heat and gaining heat far too quickly. So, what do I do? First thing I did is I went full hard on the front, spr front spring, ooh, uh, misses, and also rebound and compression just to control that extra strong spring. I came up one on the rear spring hardness as well just to compensate because the rear tyre was getting warm and the bike was a bit slow. So what I did was I dropped the front preload one click because if your bike's handling slow you can drop the front preload at the risk of riding off the side of the front tyre which I did once or twice and I upped the rear preload one click as well to balance the bike out. I've put a harder front spring in so that means energy is going to move into the back of the bike. I've put a harder rear spring in to try and compensate for that. I've dropped the front preload so that'll move energy back towards the front of the bike and I thought well I might as well do one on the rear preload as well because then it'll balance it all out and everything should be on Kidori. So what we should see is we should see a much more balanced um, case of heat management. So we give it another go and we got down to a 133.1 across the line there, but I thought it was quicker and I wanted to get into the 132s. 132.9, I'm absolutely happy with that. I've only done five, four, five, six laps, not bothered. So, through turn three, up into third, look at the tyres, much more balanced. Yeah, I've got the traction on, I'll put the um, anti-wheelie settings on when this goes on the video, so um, look for the braking markers on the right, down to second gear, try and treat this as one long corner, try not to let the bike stand up, keep it over on the side of the tyre, up to third, watch for the bumps on the exit, let it run out, back across the left-hand side of the track, middle braking marker, down to second, again, try and treat this as one long corner all the way up to the breaking point which is going to be just before we get to that curb there down to first keep it nice and tight all the way around up to second little dab of break this is where i think i was losing time i think there's a better way around that corner but i'll come back to it on the gas look for the brake in the curbs on the brakes again back down to first again hold it nice and tight there's a little bit of camber to help you the front tyre is not as warm, up to third for turn 11, hold it tight, let it run out on the kerb but don't run over the white line, on the brakes as the kerb finishes, down to first to keep it nice and tight, I've got traction control on level one, otherwise the rear tyre would be dead by now, all the way up the hill and try and use the gas just to turn the back end, see the bike, the bike rotating a little bit, watch for the bumps on the gas, flat out, all the way across the line and we got a 132.995 five which i was happy with to say i only did i don't know about four or five laps maybe six laps or something like that yeah there's more time in it um the leaderboards well they're taking the piss as usual aren't they about three seconds worth of time so where do we end up 13th so again um feel free to use a setup do what you want use it as a as a base and, and a click here and a click there i mean a 130.1 jesus christ that is absolutely taking the piss. So what's that? 2.8 seconds. Yeah, all right. That's never happening. But I'll take that. Top 20, top 15, whatever you want to call it. I'm not I'm not too disappointed with that. So it was a quick blast. I probably will give it another go. I know I say that all the time and I never do because I'm always too busy. But I will give it another go and we'll see where we are with it. Um, yeah. And that's the setup. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Send me some feedback. Let me know how you get on. And I, fingers crossed... We'll see you next time. Stay safe. Peace.